Nope, see you. I'm gonna go to see the castle. I'm gonna trespass the shit out of it. Hey, the amazing Rando. Watch Rando the Great construct sets with his very mind. <laughs> Hello! Whoa! It's bigger on the inside. And has a snazzy, jazzy beat to it! Hello, frog face! Guinevere! Hmm? Who are you? Are you a ghost? What do you want? Oh well, never mind. Welcome to the Castle Gloompuke. I can't exactly stop you from wandering around, but please be polite. Queen Margaret is very anxious today. Who is Margaret? Margaret is the Queen of Gloompuke Swamp. Not that there's much of a, to be a queen of. None of us really know anything about this place. We all simply appeared here somehow. But Margaret said she always wanted to... We figured it can't hurt anything. Yeah, fair enough. Is there anything else? Um... What do I look like? You look a bit like several wisps. Rated into a cage with a sphere of water floating at its center. Alright. Is there anything else? Uh, no, I think I'll just... Leave. Take care. Ooh! Hello, Foxy Mage! Mildred! Hello, love! Care to have your fortune told? Uh, sure? She closes her eyes and begins muttering. <laughs> oh, neat! I didn't know goats could have that many legs. Um, what? Right? Or that they could have teeth that they could climb walls that quickly, quickly. Or that they could travel through mirrors and up to What are you talking about? The world is so full of cool stuff to learn about, huh? Anyway, good luck, I guess. You didn't tell me my fortune for shit! Ooh. But there's a lot of neat stuff in here, I will admit that. Okay. What else? I'm gonna look around, I'm gonna explore, and uh, watch, as soon as I leave, the weather's gonna be changed again, I bet. I have a sneaking suspicion. Can I read some of the texts? I'm gonna walk right past, click to read, okay. This book is titled, Great Swamps of the Realm. You open to the page about Gloompuke Swamp. Having garnered a reputation for excessive purity and being wildly accepted as the shittiest what? I can't read this! It moves too fast! Okay. Let me talk to you. Uther snorts unwelcomingly. Uther snorts knowledgeably, gesturing... U Uther just snorts. <laughs> what can you tell me about the council? <laughs> Uther snorts uncertainly, mysteriously. Swampaciously. What? That's not even a word. Appreciatively. I see. Ah, uh -huh. okay, Uther. Um, this book is titled "Pictures of Wolf People Screaming at Things." <laughs> ha! Ha! Why not? <laughs> Predictably, the book is filled with illustrations of wolf people engaged in the act of screaming of various things. A wolf person dressed like a knight is scream. Why can't you show me the pictures? That would be awesome.
being screamed at by people who are also wolves. Yes, that would. Why? What is this? Hello! Hello, Margaret! I wish to talk to you even though you're anxious. Look at this fucking throne! Can you believe this bullshit? Who the fuck sits in a throne this big? Who the fuck makes a throne this size? My god, it's so- I'm so mad! You gonna be okay? I don't know! I don't know! I don't know! I'm the queen of the swamp and I can't sit in my huge fuck throne! I don't even know how to get a refund! I can't send it back! Mail doesn't exist here! Ah, I hate this! Why do I suddenly give her a, a, a Scottish accent? Uh, yeah, it's a pretty large chair for sure. Right? How can I be queen of anything like this? My foes will be all like chicka Margaret in her stupid fucking chair for glum giants! She's just snarling and snapping and squealing now. Pretty sure you'll be fine. The fuck do you know? You don't even have a body! You're just a floating business ship like a toad! Think you're so cool with your- Get out of my large castle! <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> I think that was the best interaction and character I did on this whole thing. Alright, what the fuck's gonna happen now? I don't know! Shut up, Margaret! Uh, it's raining still. Okay. Where to next? Can I go to the main island again? I hope so. That would be nice. I want to explore some ores and figure things out. I don't know. I don't know anything about anything in this place. And it's confusing. Not really, but still. It is curiosity compels. That's what's going on here. Yeah? I am curious. I want to see what happens next. So... I go in here. Because I hadn't been in here previously. Hello. Hello, Vivian. Oh, hello there, kind spirit. I have never seen you before. You must be new. My name is Vivian. I'm the Temple Keeper. What may I do for you? Uh, tell me a story. Why, I'd be delighted to. If you can fucking keep up. Once upon a time, there was a girl who had spiders for hands. The really spindly kind, the Black Widows. They were hand size, not spider size. So really, her hands were two very large spiders, just to clarify. The girl couldn't do a lot of normal things with her hands, seeing as they were a pair of very large spiders and not normal hands. But there were some very special things she could do with them. She became a tailor. She began to create wonderful things for silk from her own spider hands. Also, the spiders were highly venomous, so she could... Death was almost instantaneous. Sometimes life was about making the best pair of spiders. Life is about making the best of a pair of spiders for hands. I hate everything about all of that. Uh, um, too true, too true. Anything else, dear? Um, what's up with this temple? It's quite lovely, isn't it? We're all very glad to have found it. Water in the fountain glows so beautifully. And those great big jewels are nice, too. Most jewels are. A very good environment for storytelling, after all. What? After all, that's what temples are for, after all. I guess so. Anything else, dear? What do I look like? Well, you're very much like a shawl made of spider's lip, draped across the head and shoulders of it. Very fetching, I must say. All right. Is anything else, dear? Nothing, but thank you. Be well, spirit. So, from just talking with everyone around here, we've determined that we are a spectral creature. This place just... Uh, people just appeared in this place. And... They don't really know much about it, other than the fact that it's here. 
Very curious. Well, it stopped raining. That's a thing. Wait, oh my goodness. Nice. All right, but what else is there to do? Besides talk to everybody and What if? What if I do this? I fell off! So long, floating islands! Whoa. Damn it. So what else can I do around here? I don't know. Maybe I should see that fortune telling thing again. I don't know. Maybe I didn't check the library all that well. I don't know. I don't know a lot of things. There's got to be a point to some of this. What are you doing here? Kitchen stuff and fortunes. That okay with you? Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, yeah. Totally. Wonderful. I forgot what voice I gave her. But I definitely won't forget uh, Queen Margaret's voice. That one's fun. Ooh, something sneaky back here? <gasps> Ooh. Ooh! You see a sturdy wooden door braced with wrought iron. It's locked and won't budge. All I can do is leave it? Oh, that's no fun! I wanna, f I wanna see what's behind the door. I want to know. I can't ask him because all he does is grunt. There's got to be some way to open that door. There must be. I'm going to ask Margaret. <laughs> Mildred. Oh, that's... That's... You know what? What if I can go around the back of the castle? What if that's a thing I can do? No? Poopy. Well, that's disappointing. I want to find out about that door. I'll figure out a way to open it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this, let me know by giving that like button a bop. Leave some comments down below, and let me know if you want to see if we can get that door open and see what we can find, or if there's anything more to it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully, it'll amaze.